Today we are here to provide K9 Galley with a bullet and stab proof vest. She's borrowing that vest until she reaches her retirement uh, in May 24th, I believe. Lorna, would you mind getting um, yep, back measurement there? We also took measurements for 30. K9 Jinka. Uh, to be able to order her vest as soon as we re-raise the donations. Yeah, right about 15. 15. We are working on behalf of the Ohio Law Enforcement Canine Association um, with members throughout the state of Ohio. And slowly but surely, we're trying to uh, protect each canine in the state of Ohio one at a time. The canines are out there in the same danger situations that their handlers can be. Most of the time, they're going in first, and that's a lot of times without the, yeah. the same protection that their, their handlers have. We are called out to do a track. Who knows what she's going to get into? And I think having this vest is going to severely um, help her chances of coming home because she's at the very front of the leash. They are a NIJ level 3A safety rating that will stop a, a 9 mil hollow point ammunition, a 44, 45. Um, and more. The big thing is obviously they're seeing more and more stabbings um, of canines. So our vest will also stop up to a four inch blade. My dog is part of my family. So to have that peace of mind for my wife, my kids, not that dad's just coming home, but also my partner is also coming home at night as well. With just things happening in the world today on college campuses, it's nice to know that, that we're trying to protect everyone. And we're trying to protect them while they're protecting all of the students. I believe our dogs are just as important as any other county or city. We're all out there doing the same work every day, and we want our dogs to come home with us too. And I think vesting these dogs are extremely important and will help out um, in the fact that they will come home safe and sound. I think we're good, girl. All right.